Along with the classic speciality dining venues, Sun Princess has some new options for you to try. Hi, it's Linz from Sweet Natured. As always, I'm joined by Marky. Hello. Hello, who put the video together. So yes, speciality dining on Sun Princess. This is my first time watching, so let's see what we can see. So it's our look at the speciality dining on Sun Princess Lens. Yes. And at the time of recording, all of these main venues that we're going to see are all charging $45 per person. To enjoy. To enjoy them. Okay. But we're going to start off with Dario's, which, mm -hmm. to give it its full name, it's the Butcher's Block by Dario, but on board everyone just refers to it as Dario's. Yes. What did you think? Okay. Now, it's very meaty. It is. I mean, the clue's in the restaurant title. It is. And also, you don't get a choice of how you want your meat done. No, it just comes prepared. It's not... Don't mistake this for Crown Grill or a steakhouse. No. It's not. It's a food experience with, as you can see here... That man showing you his meat. Showing you his meat. There's a huge amount of presentation Yes. during this, both when they're cooking it, but also pre... We're not seeing anything different here to what everyone else sees. This is no. the show that everyone gets when you go in. You get a meat show. You get a meat show. And also talk about what each of the cuts are and why they're important. Yeah. Well, we'll let him carry on for a second. Oh, my goodness. Uh, he carried on for much longer. But would you like to take a second to invite people to subscribe? I would love to invite you to subscribe. Thank you, as always, if you already have done. Honestly, it makes my day. And, of course, you can follow us along on all the main social media at Sweet Natured. Thank you. He's still talking. <laughs> yes. Now, we're, now we're, we're sat down. We are. Now, as you can see, this restaurant is based at the very end of the eatery, but it's in its own area, which at night is just the speciality dining. Which I think, now I've thought about it, is a good job, but I'll explain why later. Okay. Now, if you were looking for a menu, mm -hmm. it's there. <laughs> which yes. is basically, and I'm not being... Saki on it, that, that is the menu. Fish, it's facetious. basically, or facetious or anything else. <laughs> um, it's just telling you which bits of the cow you're going to be eating. Yeah, and it starts off with a tartare, and it basically, it starts, it gets slightly more cooked as you go through. Would you agree? I would agree, yeah. It starts out with not cooked at all. No. But it was delicious, and you can tell from your face, you do like a steak tartare anyway. I do, I do. Now, it, it, now it's meat cost two. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, this is the thing. The idea of it and then the actual experience, you forget how much you miss vegetables. <laughs> I mean, there are vegetables on the table, but they're like sort of crudite type vegetables. And, and there were some type beans. of beans as well. And then you got a potato, like three, but three quarters cost, of the way through. Yeah. And I missed that potato. I really, I was... Yeah, really, but you do like a potato. I love a potato, and I was looking forward to the potato, but when the potato arrived, I mean, look at him with his, his big tomahawk there. Uh, this, it's a, yeah, burning ribeye. It's the speciality of Dario's. Yeah, it was very good. It was very good. There's no sauces or anything. There is like a lard... Um, Meat lard. It's like a meat butter. A meat butter, yes, that's a really good way to describe it. when you get the bread to start with, the you meat, get this meat butter to thing, spread on it. Then I want a fan of those beans. No, but the meat butter on the bread will love that. Yeah. I'm also a fan of that. Now, it is, as you can see here, you're not sat in an intimate little booth for two. No. It's You're on sort of big sharing tables. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's one of the attractions for Dario's, mm -hmm. that you're not going here for a date night. Oh, definitely not. But if you go here with friends or a good group of people... I, that was too big that I put in my mouth right there. It well, wasn't it? It's the friends that join you for that that make the experience. Yes. Because you are given wine all the way through it. It's included. Yeah. So, of course, we knew Elliot and Mark, but we'd never met Joe before, who is from Go With Joe, who was sat to my left. And I would say she, every time we saw her around the ship following this dinner, we, we were having a cuddle. Uh, and referring to potatoes. I'm talking about our love of potatoes. <laughs> but it, it is all about the experience with sort of friends. And if you, if you are just on the ship as two, yes. don't not go to this no. because you will make Potato. friends with the people sat next to you. 
But look, it's, it doesn't come with anything. Now, they do suggest you put the meat butter on it. Which I did, and it was lovely. Yeah, but maybe as you walk through, this is the thing I was going to say, as you walk through the eatery to get here, maybe pick up something that you like on the <laughs> potato and bring it with you. Like well, butter or, or I, something. I guess you could do. I suspect it will continue to evolve. It is still very Neon Princess. It... It didn't disappoint. I really enjoyed it. You got a little postcard at the end of it signed yeah. by the staff. Yes. Mine was signed by most of them. You had a couple of signatures on. Uh, Mark and Elliot just got one signature. <laughs> <laughs> we won. <laughs> but we think it's a fantastic experience on it. If you, if you All know, the wines included, yeah, the grappers yeah. included. You do come out of it relatively fresh at the end of it. And please don't do what I did and mix your red wine with cocktails going forward because I was not... I was a little d delicate the morning after. You were, weren't you? Yes. But we would definitely recommend it. Yeah, what did score did we give it? Uh, we gave it 8 out of 10. Okay. Next up, Kai Sushi. Kai Sushi. Uh, uh, put my teeth back in. <laughs> Kai Sushi by Makato, to give it its full name. Loved it. Um, Mr. Makato. Yeah. Is a trained sushi chef who also trained with um, Morimoto. Oh, yes, yes. We like him as well. Yeah, so we've been to... Sort of both their restaurants, and he's mm -hmm. got some venues in Miami and other yes. places in Florida as yeah. well. I loved it here. It was an omakase menu, so you got what you were given. Yeah, it's a set 10 course menu. Mm -hmm. Very Michelin star. It is. You can add some extras to it, which you'll see at the bottom of the menu here. So if you do want to top it up, you can add some extra sushi or nigiri or some maki. But honestly, we were completely full. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we... I, I don't, definitely we, did not need any extra food after no, this. No, no. Um, because we've come out of a sushi restaurant sometimes and you're still a bit hungry. Yeah. And you find yourself in the buffet like a couple of hours later. Yeah, this uh, was not the case. No. Like all of the speciality restaurants and the bars on Sun Princess, mm -hmm. some... Uh, speciality cocktails that you can only get here. Oh, they were so, so good. Obviously, we would get them. <laughs> they came in like beer tankers. No, these were covered by our premiere package, weren't they? They were, yeah. Now, I I can't remember. I got, a, was it a spicy sake one? So, and I think got... one of them was either a sake or, and the other one was either vodka or gin. It did show it a few seconds ago. Yeah. I just wasn't paying enough attention when it, the menu <laughs> just scroll past. looking at the food. We were. But, Really, really tasty. Mm -hmm. um, to be fair, like most of the cocktails. Paired it, really well. It did. The design to go with yes. the menu. So if you have got the, the Plus or the Premier package, take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. So you, you start off with uh, some miso soup. And, and some, edamame. You do. And that miso soup was the best miso soup I've ever had you loved anywhere. It, you? Yeah. On land or at sea. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they put into it. Yeah. But I <gasps> wanted more of it. Those prawns are incredible. Which were raw. Yes. So, again, if you don't like raw fish... This is not for you. No. But if you do like sushi on it, you are going to absolutely love it here. A few people, I think, were put off by the fact that it's sort of set at the oh, side of, yes. sort of the piazza. And so there's people walking past, but it does... F I don't know why, but because of it, I guess because it's sushi, it feels more it didn't, appropriate it for didn't, it to yeah. be like that. We've had restaurants where we've had that walk through and we haven't enjoyed them. Yeah. Here, it really wasn't a problem. It just felt part of it because we've eaten sushi in open places before. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm thinking on sort of quantum class on it. You have people literally walk straight past it. On MSC, people walking past it. So yeah. I think it's more of a... We've been in, uh, the, thing. in the Trafford Centre and people walk past it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So maybe sushi is just more, more open to that. But if you get a seat near the sort of window side of it where we did it, it's obviously much more quiet. Yeah. There was nothing about this meal that I didn't absolutely oh. love. And I don't mean just like, I the, mean love. They, the, the rice they use are warm rice, don't they? So they doesn't, as you can see, it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, that did happen to you more than once. It doesn't, it's not a set as much as the white cold rice. But it was delicious. It was great, but it doesn't... You can't um, chopstick it as daintily as you would like, so prepare yourself for that. Yeah, but going back to sort of the tastes that were in here... And, I was struggling uh, it, with this rice every course, I think. You ended up with, like, rice soup at the end oh, of it. Oh, my goodness. Just getting back to the taste side of it, including the dessert, there was nothing that I didn't love. Oh. Oh, my I mean, goodness. We, we were only on here for five nights. We debated going back here on one <laughs> of the did. nights. And we're like, we can't do that. If we'd have been on a longer cruise, we would have 100% gone there. Yeah. And it is by far 
the best sushi we've ever had at sea. Oh, loved it. And we gave it a perfect 10 out of 10. Yes. Uh, highly, highly, highly recommended. Loved it. And like everywhere in here, the staff were just they absolutely were so fantastic lovely. and really helpful taking yeah. you through it. Sabatini's Trattoria. A classic. It is. New venue, new style venue. Mm -hmm. Really feels a little bit more upmarket than the other ones. I, um, the other ones feel a little, more, a little bit more sort of family Italian. I guess This I, felt more date night fun than Yeah, than I that. guess so. And I miss the... Yeah, I guess so. The, and it's in the middle of the ship rather than being near the windows. On the... Yeah, there's no view out to sea. You've got the sort of fake views over the... Yeah. Sort of, Tuscan Hills, or wherever yeah, it's meant to be. As you do at sea. Uh, as you do, yeah. Uh, but the venue itself, I really liked. Yes. I get, yeah. you know, the, they've changed it a lot on there. But as from a menu perspective, apart from like the, the new cocktails, it was very similar to what we've had in Sabatini's on, um, on the other ones. Yeah, but I missed the calamari. There was... I. I mean, if I see calamari on this menu now, I'm going to be really cross at myself. But there was no calamari. There wasn't calamari. And there was no seafood parcel, which I also enjoy when we've been to Sabatini's as well. That no, wasn't on there. there wasn't. There were a couple of different dishes in there that they'd changed and sort of uh, swapped around. The, the bone in veal yes. on there looked good, but we know someone else who had it who didn't enjoy it as much. Yeah. So we get you, first of all, you get your mozzarella sticks. They no, come... there were um, not mozzarella. Oh, that other one that you like begins with P. P? Paloma. Oh, I don't, can't remember. There, was, there weren't mozzarella. <laughs> but I'm, they were tasty. That's going to really annoy me I know. now. Polenta. Polenta. There you go. You don't need to put that in the comments below. <laughs> we got there. <laughs> we got there eventually. Then, then you go into a salad dish. Um, I think we, we both had the burrata salad, which oh, were absolutely really, delicious. Yes. Love um, cheese. And, and really, really good. Mm-hmm. Um, why am I blowing it? Oh! <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> you answered your own question. Oh, it's not... Yes. Uh, then you, you passed a course. No, we shared this, didn't no, we? No, we didn't. We had passed a course each, as no, you will see. I thought, did we? I thought... <laughs> no. You, you, the evidence is clearly on screen there that you had your own dish. I think you had the lobster raviola. That sounds about right for me. It is. It's one of oh. your, your go-tos. Mm -hmm. What we didn't have in here is a dessert because we were really full. So we went and had a liquid dessert at the end of it. We which did. you will see. And it was I, quite late as well, wasn't it, for eating? And, and It was. I had the chops and then you had the chicken palm, which you said the chicken palm was cooked well but needed more sauce. I would ask them to bring you a little jug of the... Um, I was going to say vodka sauce. It's not vodka. The marinara sauce. The marinara sauce because... It it was a little bit dry and it was juicier up in the um, eatery. Yeah, maybe it was more traditional. But we give it eight and a half okay, out of ten. I, 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 yeah, I can go with that. And that's the Ferrero cocktail that you I had for dessert. I love a Ferrero cocktail. Next up, Crown Grill. Mm. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is the only restaurant we went to on board that is a closed-off restaurant. In other words, it's got doors. When you come into it, there's, you can't hear anyone else I think else you're outside. right. I think you're right. I mean, technically O'Malley's, I guess, but that has an open door where people... Can, uh, no, I, maybe I've created myself. Maybe O'Malley's No, cancelled. but it feels more um, secluded from the from where the other specialities it are. It does. I mean, this is really your date night go-to Celebration. One. Yeah. I mean, you can say Love by Brito, which wasn't open when we went on, which is meant for date nights. Yes. Uh, it would be the go-to one. But for us... We we really sort of enjoy Crown Grill. I know it's a favourite for a lot of people. It's a classic, yeah. Um, the the menu is very similar to on other princess ships. I th I preferred the setting. Yes, we had a lovely booth, didn't we? We did. Now we were eating in here quite late. We're about ten past nine, which for us is very late it for starting special. Yes. So by the time we got out of here, we're coming up to eleven, and we were shattered. Mm -hmm. Um, so I would definitely say go for an earlier set in the week. Yes, do. yeah. But yeah, that didn't affect the service. The service was just as on point as it yeah. would have been if we'd have gone at the start. The food was just as fresh. The steaks were cooked perfectly. Yes. You liked your shrimp cocktail? I love a shrimp cocktail. And I got the... Lobster bisque? Lobster bisque, which... which I know. Oh, sorry, darling, I was going to say, I normally get lobster bisque. No, you don't. Bisque. 
You'll oh, see what you normally no, get. No, I like. I, no, no, no. You're right. I normally get a lobster bisque anywhere else, apart, apart from, from here, yeah. where I get the black and blue French onion soup. Oh my goodness! Which me. it is the best French onion soup that you can get anywhere. There, there are some great French onion soups that we've had on other ships, but just look at your first. I love it. Absolutely love it. Because we've been on other ships where in the steakhouse, the French onion soup has been similar to what we've had in, in sort of the main dining room. Yeah. This is not. No. It tastes different <laughs> to anyone else. Yeah. Now, we both got the ribeye. Mm-hmm. And you said afterwards you made a mistake. Yes, I should have got the fillet or the fillet. Just too big. It was more eye than rib. But I um, I should have got the fillet. And it was a bit big after nine o'clock. A 15-ounce fillet steak. Uh, ribeye. Uh, ribeye, sorry. Um, which you know, is a big old piece of meat. Now, they love the salt, don't they, on Princess Cruises? Yeah, you have your selection of salts. Yeah. Uh, your Himalayan, your white one, I can't remember what that's called, and then your volcanic. Yeah. So I think you got the pink one, didn't you? Uh, if maybe. I, remember. Uh, I know I got the volcanic. Mm-hmm. But... Then we got a nice peppercorn sauce. So really, really tasty. They knew it was our anniversary in here, so we didn't yeah. have a normal dessert. At the end of it, they brought out this special cake for us and all sang happy anniversary. They did. And to be fair, there were a lot of birthdays and anniversaries that they night. Were, they were, they were just basically going around and singing to every table. <laughs> they were, yeah. Uh, and we've given it 9 out of 10. Uh, classic steakhouse. Mm-hmm. Now, there's a couple of places that we didn't get chance to get into, but... Courtesy of Tom at Cruising with the Four Bs, who Thanks, did get Tom. into these. Uh, we have got some footage on them, so we can't review them from a score, but we can talk about them. Okay. The first one is the teppanyaki. Mm-hmm. So both these are in Umai. Yes. Uh, the teppanyaki and shabu shabu, or hot pot, as I call it. Yes. Um, and everyone who we know went in teppanyaki said it was the best teppanyaki they'd ever been to on any cruise ship. I mean, that is something, isn't it? Because it is... There are quite a few cruise ships that you can do this on now. I, I, don't I would know. Say, well, I would say there are fewer ships that don't have them yeah. than, than do. It's yeah. pretty much a staple, isn't it, for the bigger it, cruise yeah, ships? Yeah, it, it, it is now. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I mean, they're always fun. Um, you always get to pick what you want. You don't have to, you know, you're not set to a the, menu. The menus were great. Yeah. And there were a couple of little sort of extra things that you could bolt onto it, like the Wagyu and the trio of seafood. But... You know, the, I say basic, and I use that with the loosest possible <laughs> term. What you get included with your 45 already looks amazing. Yeah. Now, if you've got the premiere package, which two are you picking? Which in, do you mean? In respect of, you know, you get two. All of the, of the restaurants. Mm-hmm. Well, I would definitely go for teppanyaki. Mm-hmm. And probably, if I've, if I've not been to it before, yeah. Dario's. Oh, but if I've been to it before, probably Crown Grill. I'm going to say, because I'm going to Crown Grill. Well, I'd come with you. I'd just pay for that. <laughs> so the, this is the other part of uh, Umai, which is the Shabu Shabu. Which is the hot pot. Which, yeah. It, it's only very recently, when we were on there, that I'd heard it referred to as Shabu Shabu. I'd, everyone else yeah, had been referred to it as hot pot. Yes. So if you do see both and you check it when you're going to book and it says hot pot, that's this. Mm-hmm. Um, which... Basically, is a cook your own food. So it, it comes to you, you have your choice of broths that you pick mm-hmm. uh, and you dip in sauce and everything else. You can see how close it is to the teppanyaki. Yes. So if you only had the option to one or the other, if you went to the hot pot, you can still see the teppanyaki, sure. Well, that's true, yeah. And look at all the lovely seafood and things I know. you can get. That is very you. It is. I will amazed, but wait until you see the plenty of vegetables, unlike at Dario's. Mm-hmm. Uh, but different kind of venue but look at all the meat yeah yeah and that's again all included within the I price there's see, no upgrade i can see why you'd want to do this it looked great fun it looks very you we did try to get in but it was full yeah. on the one night that we had that where we could have done it yeah um we we will definitely do teppanyaki we will definitely do uh shabu shabu next when time. we're next on some princess or star yeah uh for, for definitely, they both look Does, absolutely you do amazing. You drop things from height. You would, you would tell I me not to do I don't think you have that. to drop it from that height. I oh. think it, that may have been a personal choice by Tom and Ernest to do it from that height. I wouldn't do it from that height. Would you have done, got a little bit closer? I would have had you do it for me. Because <laughs> we all <laughs> so, know it'd be So, a would disaster. you have had your own personal chef there then? Let's say yes. Uh, I'm fairly confident it would have been yes. <laughs> and you would have liked. I would. I, I enjoy doing that. We've been to hot pots on land before. 
and yeah. enjoy them when we've and done it. And you always take over from me because it's, I don't. It's, <laughs> it's, that's not where my skill just, set lies. It is definitely not your skill set, is it, my princess? No. Uh, and then you've got some mochi as well. I love mochi. Well, if you go to sort of uh, Asian, Asian. Uh, Ernest or Tom looked to be having as many difficulties with that circular one as you do normally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, now, I'm only going to touch on this because we've covered this in the inclusive package, uh, yeah. the inclusive review, but it's technically not inclusive. If you've not got the Princess Plus or the Princess Premium package, Premier, Premier package, um, then it's 14 to go to here, or uh, which is Alfredo's, or, or Mali's. Yeah. Alfredo's used to be just open to everyone, and that's a fairly recent change. It's not a Sun Princess change. They changed it yeah. for the whole line. I love Alfredo's. It is just such a go-to, oh, especially yes. on sort of um, lunchtime on it or boarding day. It, it's it's a, perfect. I, I would, I just, I would definitely do that two times if we could. Yeah, we just. Didn't have enough time, did we? Mm -hmm. One there no. this time, and then O'Malley's, the Irish pub, uh, which again is a new venue. It is in that um, premium category where you pay the fourteen ninety nine. No, premium okay. category. Oh yeah, no, okay. Uh, where you're paying a little bit more for it. Now you can go in there and pay the cover charge, or you can go in and just get a stout, or just get a main and just a uh, afters as they put on there. Um, but. Good choice, and everyone we know went in there said the they loved it. food was fantastic as well. But that's bringing us up towards the end of the review. We just got some final thoughts on there, which pricing I think where they've put this flat 45 for the it's specialty really good, dining, yeah, yeah. Uh, certainly when you compare it to things like celebrity, celebrity or royal, yeah. where you know you're paying twice that. Uh, the service were fantastic at every single one of them, and the food. Really great. Yes. You got a couple more venues still to come on board at the time that we went on. Love by Brito and Spellbound, uh -huh. the full experience. We'll do those. And they're 149. Oof. But overall, we've given it eight and a half out of ten. I totally agree, darling. And that brings us to the end of the review. Well, thank you, darling. Cheers. Cheers thank you for watching and have a lovely day. <laughs>